Hello everyone! In this final rhythm lesson for Book 2, we will be introducing triplets. You know that in simple meters like 2-4, the beat is evenly divided into two equal parts, and in 2-4 that might be counted 1 and 2 and. But what if we wanted to put three notes in the space of one beat? We can do that with something called a triplet. In a triplet, we write three evenly spaced notes where two would normally go. You can write triplet eighth notes in the space of two eighth notes, and also triplet quarter notes in the space of two quarter notes. We write a three over the triplets to help the reader know that these are to be performed as triplets. Counting and performing triplets can be tricky. The easiest way is to temporarily divide the triplet beat into threes. When counting this rhythm, we would count one and two and one and a two and one and a two and a while performing the rhythm. The more technically correct way is to count in simple meter while performing the triplet. So we would count one and two and one and two and while performing this rhythm with our bow. This is harder than it looks. When performing triplet quarters, we also recommend temporarily dividing the triplet beats into threes. This is because triplet quarters are as long as two triplet eighths tied together. To count this, we would count one and two and three and a four and a one and a two and a three and four and. And you'll notice that the quarter notes fall directly over certain syllables. 3 and a, uh, 4 and a, uh, 1 and a, uh, 2 and a. Uh. When I tap the beat, the rhythm sounds like this. Ba, 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 ba. These are tricky rhythms that can even challenge adult musicians. This is why triplets are addressed in the last lesson of the last rhythm unit in Book 2. Now read Lesson 23.4 in your workbook and complete the exercises for this lesson. Then answer the questions in the study guide to review the entire unit. My name is Christopher Selby. Thank you for watching this tutorial on music theory for the successful string musician.